Hello, everybody. I've been um, contacted by other subscribers asking me to um, make a video to show them how to make a life table using Searstat software. And in order to, to do this, uh, a life table is like a, um, a table in which groups of patients with a certain disease, with a certain cancer, uh, display um, a time to event uh, data per observation or per group of patients uh, from a certain time like the time of diagnosis like the time of a drug a time of an incident till the time of the occurrence of the outcome this outcome could be a disease this outcome could be a complication this outcome could be death itself so is that uh, something that we can do using Searstat yes we can do that so I've opened the Searstat uh, software and I'm going to hover the mouse over the survival session I'm going to click now to wait for it to open we're going to make the most basic life table and we are going to choose um, triple negative breast cancer as our cohort so we're going to use um, this data I'd like to use plus data whenever possible so let's uh, use any plus data registry and then in the statistic I will choose the observed survival only leaving um, most of the settings here um, as the same we can like we can use Kaplan Meyer method uh, and then we will jump into the selection in the selection we are going to choose the triple negative breast cancer so first we're going to choose breast cancer first we'll jump into site and morphology the site recode and then we will hover until we reach the breasts so this is our first criteria and then we'll click edit again and then we'll make this even longer so we're going to uh, click on the extent of the disease you will see here um, the breast subtype variable and you will see also let's make it wider so you can see in order to uh, choose the triple negative breast cancer triple negative breast cancer is negative for estrogen receptors progest progest uh, progesterone receptors and her2 receptors as well so in order to choose the triple negative we will choose the er status recode breast cancer and we are going to choose the value negative then we'll use okay so now we have chosen the estrogen receptor negative next we're going to open the extent of the disease again here it is and then hover down until we reach the progesterone status and then we'll click negative and then we'll click OK and now we have only the HER2 status we'll go again to the extent of the disease and then the breast subtype and then we will choose I think it's the breast subtype yes or, or the, the, the derived HER2 recode yes that's it so now we have breast cancer with negative as the value of all the other um, variables uh, and then we will go to the parameter we will uh, choose in addition to the tables we can use the cumulative summary table or we can use the standard life table we can check both if you if you want to take a, an idea about how those look like and then in the table section we can leave it as it is for now and then in the output let's give it a name like triple negative breast cancer and then click execute so now we we should expect 
two types of tables, the cumulative summary table and the standard life table. So Sears is now collecting the information, collecting the data. We haven't chosen uh, a certain year of diagnosis, so maybe we'll get a large cohort, medium cohort, or small cohort. I wouldn't count on any of that. The more we reach the end, the more is the probability that he will give you a number here. Still gathering the data. So this is what we uh, call the cumulative summary table. So um, this is the observed mortality, the observed survival, I mean, uh, after 12 months of diagnosis. So 93.5% are alive. After 24 months, 85.7% are alive. After 36 months, 80.6% are alive. 48 months, 76.6% are alive, and after 60 months, 73% 73.9% uh, are alive, and these are the uh, confidence intervals of those values. So as you see here, the more we move away from the date of diagnosis, the less the people who are alive. So this is the cumulative summary of the triple negative breast cancer. Now, if we want to get the standard life table, we come here to this arrow, means next, and then we can click on it, and he will give us what is known as the standard life table. The standard life table, it, it, it's divided into rows, and each row um, is corresponds to one month since the time of diagnosis. So uh, the first row is the first month. So people who are alive at the beginning of the first month are 15,297. Who died in the first month are 85 and who were lost to follow up are 154. If you subtract the deaths and the loss to follow up from the, the alive at the start of the month, then it will give you the number at the start of the second month and so and so again until the end of the observation period so after 60 months and I, i'm saying 60 months because this is what we have specified like if we go to the parameters here the number of intervals are 60 and the months per interval is one month we can work with this with these numbers in order to increase the intervals or uh, increase the, 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 the time per row. So if we made those 60 and we made the months per interval 12, then you would expect that each row will be equal to one year instead of one month. But just for simplicity, I'm, I'm just giving you what the basic form of a uh, life table looks like. So after the end of the six of the, the end of the sixty month, after we have started with fifteen thousand two hundred ninety seven, we have ended with five thousand four hundred and nine patients. So this is the most basic idea of what a standard life table and a cumulative summary table look like, and both can be made using the SEER STAT software. I hope you have benefited from this video, and please. Um, if you need more questions, if you, me if you need any demonstrations of anything, even related to the data or to the statistical analysis, then please comment in the comment section below and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Thank you very much.